everyone! Welcome back to Login Helps. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through how to flip your camera on Flipgrid. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another update from us. Now let's begin. Start by typing open your Flipgrid application. Now get started by joining a code by entering it in the enter join code text box. You can also scan a QR code by tapping on scan Flipgrid QR and log in. Let me go ahead and enter my code in order to join a group. After that, click on Go and enter your student username. Click Go one more time and then you'll be logged in. You'll be straightly taken to the video that you entered the join in code for. Now, go back to the main screen. Now, from this page, tap on Add Response in order to open up your camera. Allow Flipgrid to take pictures and record video by tapping on Allow. Allow more access and your camera screen will open up. If you go to the effects button, you'll be able to select filters, stickers and photos, shifts and much more. Select a filter in order to start a video by applying a filter on your video. Choose the filter that you'd like. Let me click on this blur filter over here. And now the effect has been applied to your video. If you want to flip the camera towards the other side, you can simply tap on this icon at the top right corner and you'll be able to flip the camera for your flip grid. This is your video review page. Trim, edit and add more to your videos if you want by tapping on the add more button at the bottom left. And if you've left out any part in the video that needs to be recorded, you can tap on add more and record your video. And finally, after everything's set, tap on next to the bottom right. Go ahead and finish the rest of the process and tap on submit. That is how you can flip your camera on Flipgrid. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial episodes. Goodbye till then.